It's your girl, Miss Fee. Thanks for checking in at this edition of Indie Star Network TV. Today, we got Just Will stopping through with us. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. How about yourself? I'm awesome. Thank you for stopping through. Um, can you tell me uh, or tell the viewers who is Just Will? Um, it's it's actually pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. That that hence the name Just Will. Um, I have my real name, my birth name, my government is real simple. It's Will, not William, not Willis, not oh, Will. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where I played on the whole Just Will and why the J is lowercase and all of that. So, so lowercase. What does that mean it, exactly? Um, so it's less of a title. Okay. It's more of an explanation. So oh, okay. It's like a like a prequel. The just is just like just a that. Just adjective. Wheel. Yeah. That's deep. Okay. I didn't. I wasn't aware. Of that's what that means. Okay. Uh, so what is it that you do exactly? I understand you do poetry, but then you're also uh, a promoter. Is that safe to say? Um, I've been called a promoter. I say. Um, an advocate, an artist advocate, mm -hmm. because I only promote events um, based on artistic, genre, you know, different genres of art, live music, okay. um, and then poetry events, of course, and 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 it's always catered to the the actual artists, not so much as me just trying to make a buck because a lot of times they make more than what I make on, on the events. So. And I noticed like um, on a lot of your events it's always like artists that have um, some form of like a standard substance quality you know as far as their entertainment. Yeah you, usually it's uh it's somebody that, that we hold in high regard. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, so can you tell me a little bit uh, more about uh, the Greenhouse Effect? Um, that's a bi-weekly open mic. Um, it's every other Friday. Okay. It's not... A lot of times people have first and third or second and fourth, but okay. it's literally every other Friday. So okay. it just depends on when it falls. Um, we have um, poetry, comedy. We have three different hosts. They're hosts... Um, we have uh, Amber James, mm -hmm. we have Chicken Hawk, and uh, Donald for show Martin. Oh, okay. Um, and um, yeah, it's just just comedy, and we have uh, catered food. It's a BYOB event. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, it's okay. usually a good That'll time. Work. Yeah, I uh, stopped by there, and uh, I was just in awe because it just reminds you, uh, takes you back to like the old school poetry spots you know when poetry was good and you look forward to you know going to wherever it was at you know hole in the wall the basement wherever you know just to hear it yeah it's definitely got like a a cafe feel mm -hmm. um even though it's we hold it in the beauty salon yeah but it's uh we try to we try to stay <laughs> or, real organic as far as um the type of 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 ambiance that we right. bring. Right. You know? Yeah, definitely. Uh, so what's going on with the Beyond Music? Okay, that's um, that's a monthly set. Every last Sunday of the month, uh, we have a house band, the Jasmine, and then uh, we also bring in a featured artist, and a featured poet, and going into the next year, we're, we're going to actually feature some comedians okay. and uh, bring in some different vocalists, but we also... We also showcase vocalists, and we have a a small open mic. Um, it's a it's a we call it a closed list open mic. Okay. Usually our list is full about a month ahead. Wow, and, that's uh, impressive. And so it's like six poets, a featured poet, and a vocalist. It's it's pretty pretty good time. Okay, so you got to sign up in advance for that. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. So you being a poet yourself, uh, what inspires you and the pieces type of pieces that you do? You know what? Um, just life experience, and and sometimes if it's not my own personal experience, it's uh, just things that I've witnessed or, mm -hmm. or other people's experience that I've actually witnessed. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, just just life experiences. I have poems about so many different things. <laughs> yeah, all is over there the world. is there anything that you say uh, that you don't touch about or? As far as um, on, on the personal aspect of things, but then also in regards to kind of like social issues. Um, there's nothing that I shy away from. Um, 
there are things that I'm not that a lot of artists may may dabble with that mm-hmm. don't necessarily inspire me. Right. Um, but it's strictly I strictly write based on inspiration. So okay. it's never if I don't write about it, it's not personal. Like mm-hmm. when my sister passed, it took about three years before I actually wrote a write piece about, about it. it. Okay. Um, just because I had to, it had to come to me in a creative, right. in you know, in a creative manner. I didn't want to just write it just for the sake of writing it. I still yeah. wanted it to have some artistic um, integrity. You know? Yeah, because I, when I started out writing poetry, I can't say that I'm a poet today because uh, I, uh, I'm a little rusty, but Everybody when I started poet. out, you know, writing poetry, it's like, you know, I would write w- what was on my heart for people, like maybe for uh, their birthday mm-hmm. or something like that. And then it's like, people were like, you know, well, for my birthday, don't give me nothing, write me a poem. And I'm like, well, I mean, it's not gonna have the same effect because I wasn't thinking like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, just yet, you know, but let it it come to me, so. um, Everybody's muse comes from a different different place. It does, definitely. Um, So tell us a little bit more about your um, CDs that you have put out, your poetry CDs. Okay, I have uh, have three CDs. I have two two EPs. One has eight tracks. they're poetry with music and some singing. Uh, a couple of them have a little rapping on them, um, but they're all all poetry. Okay. Um, and then the first one is called Poetry. Now that's gangster. Um, then I have another one that has ten tracks, and that one's titled Get Rich or Die Writing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the last one has twenty tracks, and that one's titled Evening Service. And that one's got like features from Renee King. Uh, awesome. Dion Forever, yeah. um, some some awesome some vocalist. real real nice artists yeah. featured on. Yeah. So was it? Uh, or do, are they over music? Your po- yeah. poem? Okay. Yeah. So was that? Did you find that a little bit more um, challenging of a process uh, when trying to put them in music versus when just doing spoken word per se? Not for me. Um, I'm a I'm a visual person. Okay. So in the studio, um, I see. I see the music. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily hear the music. Okay. And so I'm real particular about who I work with. And and a lot of times, as I'm seeing the music, I see other artists right. who I incorporate into the project. Filling in the gaps. Yeah. Okay. So are you interested in doing like any, uh, mu- what do you call them, music videos then? Uh, yeah, that that actually is my my plan. I just gotta get my my ducats lined up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what, which uh, which would you begin with? It's one probably the one that I have with Dion. Okay. Um, that that's that one probably has the the biggest bang right now. Okay. So that'll probably be it. And that one's called uh, uh what is that one called? Um, check it out. Check yeah. it out. Yeah, it's okay. called check it out. Well, we'll definitely be sure to check it out. So can you tell us where we can keep up with you or purchase any of your releases? Um, you can find me at on, definitely on Facebook, uh, Just Will Poetry. And that's J-U-S-W-I-L-L-P-O-E-T-R-Y. Um, and also, you can follow me on Instagram under Just Will Poetry. Okay. Well, we'll be sure to do that. Do you got a piece for us today? Yeah, let me think. Let me think. Okay. Coming right up, be sure to uh, check out Just Will Poetry, attend some of his events, uh, log on a month in advance if you want to get down at the uh, Greenhouse Effect or Beyond Music Movement. Uh, so stay tuned for all he has to come. Thanks for tuning in. You are the omnipotence greatest creation. They say you were thought of before there were thoughts of civilization. I've heard ancient tales of you deriving from my side and stories of you regenerating Osiris each time he died. If I'm correct, I was told that you're my rib. But honestly, I think that's a fib. I believe you're why I live. You are my mother. Better yet, my lover. Your womb's the essence, the birthplace of all that's known. Your scent is that of a divine deity and your spirit turned blood and bone. You are my home. 
Cause I hear that home is where the heart is. You're my structure. You're more driven than my car is. I can tell that I'm your child by the clouds and the sunshines where your scar is, queen. I've seen the amazing things you bring to the scene when your heart awakens. I've witnessed your exquisite existence and the persistence your love has taken. Your heart has the expansion of a galaxy and lives beyond the breaking. The capabilities you possess profess to the world that your universe encompasses stars. You nurture Venus and Mars. I know exactly who you are. I know you. Haven't we met before? Was it in heaven or that you are heaven? And that's why your embrace was so refreshing. You're my counselor, my teacher, my confidant when I'm here stressing. You're my best friend, my sister, my first love before I even knew what love was. You're a goddess. Stop being modest. You're a priestess with capabilities to heal. You should feel what your hug does. It's as if you drug does. You elevate humanity to a higher plane. You cast shadows upon the sunrise and bring new horizons each time you reign. Without your presence, there'd be no present. There'd be no we, but you transcend. All existence comes from in you, and tomorrow you start again. I know you. Haven't we met before? Yeah, I've been spoiled by your wealth. I'm positive that I know you. Now let me introduce you to yourself.